that angle. Ooh, there you go. So on this trip, I'm headed out to Arizona to film for a client. I am filming a promotional video for their manufacturing business. What's up everybody, just arrived here in Arizona and it is hot. This is my friend Gio. We're gonna be working together on this project. He's also a sick landscape photographer. So this was going to be a three day shoot and whenever I get to a location for the first time, I always make it a point to get a quick tour uh, with the client. They told me that they really want to highlight the details in the manufacturing process, but also highlight the employees. So for the majority of the shoot, I use the Rhino camera slider. Uh, I highly recommend using this because it is durable, it's super smooth, and I can bring it anywhere. It's also very light as well, so I can walk around with it. I used a 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 Canon telephoto lens. The reason why I used this was because I was able to zoom in on the details of the manufacturing process and still get that blurry background in the image. As you can see, we got a thunderstorm <laughs> coming up in the background, so we're trying to hurry and get the shot for the drone. So let's see if we can get one before thunder strikes. <laughs> Next day, the sun was out, and we took full advantage of that. That night, we saw some lightning in the distance and knew we needed to get some photos. There's the boys. Bro. <laughs> the moon is out. We have to get to that hill. Here we are, gonna take some nice photos. This is a mountain, can't see it. All right, we got Gio on the cam right there. I'm trying to get some lightning strikes on that angle. Ooh, there you go. Oh, you see that? I'm shooting a time lapse. Gio's trying to get the lightning striking on the ground. So what were you saying, Gio, earlier? About uh, the landscape shots. In order to avoid missing a focus spot on landscape, so you want to get foreground, middle ground, and background all in focus. So the best way to do that is to not have your aperture all the way open. So usually I keep it within like six to 13. And then I try to focus on something around the middle ground. Mm -hmm. So you zoom in and focus on that. Usually you'll get it around infinity if you have a, a lens that focuses to infinity. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it as much. Yeah. So, and then when you take shots, you'll have the whole thing in focus. Towards the end of the trip, Gio, Lindsay, Carlos, and I decided to go on a day trip to the mountains. Before we even left, Gio came up to me and told me that he was going to propose to Lindsay. Now, they've been dating for a long time now, and he's had this on his mind. He told me, today is the day, and I said, let's do this. So we came up with a quick plan right there on the spot and decided to tie the ring to a string, and I would attach that to the drone. Once we got to the top of the mountain, I would pretend as if I was just getting some extra footage of the valley below, but when Gio gave me the signal, I would lower the drone and then you would propose. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what have I done? This is my friend Lindsay, Gio's girlfriend. Little does she know that Gio's about to propose to her on the top of the mountain. I got poop on my foot. <laughs> Odin stepped on your foot. <laughs> with poop on. Yeah. Carlos just cruises, man. Carlos yeah, just cruises. Yeah, we're, we're on the way back, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it to the top of the mountain. We're gonna get set up and just start exploring. Ready, Carlos? Woo! He's ready.
crazy right now. We were just in the desert, 90 to 100 degrees. How much would you say? Yeah, 98. Like 98. 98 degrees. Now we are on top of the mountain, heading back down. It's 64, 65 <laughs> degrees, pine trees, and it's raining. That's the contrast you see down Arizona. in the Southwest, Arizona. It's crazy. Congratulations again to Gio and Lindsay. Also, thank you, Carlos, for helping me film the proposal scene. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on my latest posts. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Ah.